lads, welcome to the match preview for Dunfermline v St Mirren uh, this weekend. Eastern Park is the location and it's a game that we should be looking to go into and it's almost it's almost the biggest banana skin of January so far because it's, it's a game where fans are almost getting a bit nervy about the fact that, you know, like, it's the bottom of the table team and you have to be winning these games if you want to be starting to look up. If we don't win this game then again we're back to kind of square one and the f past few weeks results are kind of a bit undone. Um, as I said in last week's video we can afford one slip up but you don't really want to be slipping up against bottom of the league when there is other teams that we should that we should be expecting to slip up against but certainly not this game um, there's multiple teams that are um, more capable of beating us than St Mern at the moment they are in terrible form obviously bottom of the league won three games all season I think it is their manager Jack Ross came under some stick for the fans at the end of last week's game when they lost 3-0 uh, to Queen of the South at home um, but since then, they've brought in a few additions to their team. They've brought in the likes of um, Craig Story from Aberdeen, young kind of defensive midfielder player. Um, he's joined them on loan. Also joined them on loan is uh, Rory Loy, striker, um, on loan from Dundee. He's certainly a threat to us. Um, maybe a threat that they didn't have when we played them in previous games but the way the defence has looked in the past few weeks for us I feel like that we should be like have no fear against Rory Loy really because he's he's not had too good of a career since moving to Dundee he's kind of found it a bit of a struggle moving up to that level never really getting enough game time not scoring goals when he's been given the opportunity and stuff like that, so we should we should be kind of be able to deal with him because we've been able to do deal with uh, strikers that have been thrown our way recently quite well. So there's no reason why we can't um, put him to bed as well. And they've also signed, I think he's a midfielder, I'm not too sure, um, but he's called Pia Pal Field. Um, They've signed him as well, which is a triple scoop for them this week, ahead of this weekend's game. Obviously looking to, Jack Ross is looking to boost his team after he got given someone else's squad, basically. And he's also looking to improve on what he's got already. He doesn't feel like it's good enough, which it clearly isn't because of their, um, their run of poor form. But, so these three additions that they've brought in this week... Uh, Craig Story, Rory Loy and Powell Field. He obviously thinks that that can help them in their bid to stay in the division. Hopefully it won't come back to haunt us in a way that we've not... Um, that we're underestimating them in a way. Because obviously the bottom of the league team, you can't expect them to be like extremely bad. But with these new additions, maybe that could spark a kind of fuse in the team and um, they'll obviously want to impress the manager they'll want to show that they can be that improvement that Jack Ross is looking for so hopefully we can cause them enough problems to be able to break them down enough and score quite a few goals in this game this should be the kind of game where we should be looking to like really give someone a doing Um I know we've been dominant in the past two or three games, but we've not like hammered a team. We've not hammered them like three or four nil or whatever. We've we've put in a good performance and a good solid like two 0 win in the past two games. But you never you you don't feel like it's a proper like it's nothing like you know Cowden beef five and eh, don't feel in five Cowden beef one or anything like that. It's not a game where you've looked at and said well we were clearly the better team if you know what I mean the other teams were still creating chances and still being able to dominate us in some sections of the game so 
hopefully this can be the game where the players just find complete confidence in themselves and go and score a barrel load and we can start looking up the table week in week out now rather than thinking well if we lose this game we're going to start by looking down again if we win this game then who knows we could be one or two points off the playoff position if results go our way so just look on the kind of bright side of things really because there is no other way to do it as a pass fan right now because we're we're flying high in terms of form um, and we're creeping up on the back of our rivals Wraith Rovers, we're not too far off a Falkirk as well so there's oh it's all positive right now really um, the team I would, I, would, I would still be looking to play the exact same team from last week no reason to change it. It's basically just the same. I think the only addition that we will see is Callum Morris um, moving into the bench. I don't know who in place of. Um, the bench is looking so strong right now that anybody could find themselves dropped out because th there is, as I've said in previous videos, there's a few good players that are now missing out on the bench just through the fact that we've got such a strong squad. I mean, the fact that you could be bringing in as defensive options now instead of earlier on in the season when we were bringing in um, Connor Duthie um, as a full-back option. Nothing against Connor Duthie, but we're now bringing in Lewis Martin as a backup option or we're bringing in now Callum Morris as a backup option. It's that kind of cut above. Um, so, yeah, that, that would basically be my team for the game. I'd keep it the exact same. And if any changes are needed to be made, I mean, we've been regularly seeing now um, that the subs come on with about eight minutes or so to go, which hopefully if there is changes to be made and we're losing a game, which obviously hasn't happened for a long time now, but... If we're losing a game and we'd really need changes made, hopefully they'll come on sooner than the 80th minute. I'd certainly hope that they would get at least 25 minutes to change the game. Um, but, yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully the game is on, obviously, because the weather um, seems a bit to and fro in the now. It's been snowing where I am. Um, I'm not in Dunfermline, obviously. I'm a bit further away from that, but hopefully the game will go ahead and we can put this team to bed and move on to the next, which will be obviously Allo in the Scottish Cup and then move on to the big game at the end of the month, Dundee United at home, which will be a great game if we can continue this run of form up until that game. So yeah, thanks for listening to the match preview, guys. Hopefully you kind of enjoy this new format if you've stayed until the end you'll obviously be able to answer this question and I might actually leave it in a wee vote up in the top right um, but this is basically me screen recording my iPhone uh, whatever's on the screen so I might start a series where I do a, a, a iPhone game like Football Manager handheld or New Star Soccer or something like that and play along with it whilst talking about other stuff. Maybe I could do it over a DA Talk episode and leave the questions coming up. Or for the match previews, I could continue to do it this way, where I have a selection of pictures and I show them as I speak about them. So let me know in that vote or just comment below what you would rather me do in future. I'm trying to kind of change the channel about uh, as it suits, because obviously restrictions etc are kind of limiting me to what I can do on the uh, channel as I was before so hopefully uh, you can let me know about that and hopefully we can also pick up the three points on Saturday ignore all the notifications coming in now um, as well <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching until next time see you later guys